Hello. My pen name is Troy A, but that's not how most of the internet knows me. It was in 2008 that I was diagnosed with Crohn's disease during the first of two hospital stays for re related inflammation. Crohn's is a disease where the immune system in my J digestive tract mistakes food for an invader and attacks it. That's, that's where I ended up with inflammation. Um, for each trip, I was in recovery for a few months when I got home before I'd go back to work, and I had to do that slowly. That meant a lot of time sitting home just watching TV or surfing the net. It was during this time that I came upon sites like the original comic coverage, uh, Slay Mosher Bot of the Deep, Siskoid's Blog of Geekery, and Tom Comics Should Be Good. Um, the first one is now just an archive, and another site uses that name last I checked. But the, others, but the archive is still there, and the others are still active and interesting. I encourage you to seek them out. I also recommend Dinosaur Dracula, the uh, successor to XE Entertainment. Because that's one that I also checked out. But it was during this time that I started responding to these reviews and commentaries about the state of comics and sometimes other media on these other sites. At some point, though, my responses were getting to two or three paragraphs, so... I figured I could just start doing my own blog. Taking the screen name Shadowing that I'd already developed over the years and adding the name Tronix, a character from that failed sprite comic I talked about last year, I opened a WordPress account and prepared to create BW Media Showcase, although by launch, the name had changed to BW Media Spotlight. But I had to decide what would set me apart from other review and commentary blogs and sites on the internet. My first post was talking about the good things about HBO's Spawn cartoon. I hate Spawn. Whether in the original comic or in the cartoon, it's violent, often vulgar, gory, and its grasp on God and Satan, well, I'm not going to go so far as to call it blasphemous, but it is ignorant of the Bible and the biblical God. And yet the animation and art fit the theme perfectly. It told the story exactly how it wanted to and made sense. Brandon, I've only seen two episodes. It had good characters for what it was, and Chief David is nothing short of amazing as usual. Liking or not liking something is not a comment on the quality of the product. That was my hook. Acknowledging my biases while trying to otherwise unbiasedly examine the shows, pros, games, and comics I'd be reviewing. Additionally, my goal is to make myself a better storyteller by acknowledging the good things in bad productions and the bad things in good productions, even if it's stuff I liked. As a bonus, I hope to find people who like the same kinds of stories I do and maybe even make an audience for my future works. I'm often surprised what I've got, gotten from doing this site. I've learned things from researching for articles. Seeing me story alone has introduced me to trivia that I would have never thought to look up. Uh, they've allowed me to think about storytelling in ways I would just, wouldn't just as a creator... I, wait, try that again. <laughs> I mean the script issues again. They've allowed me to think about storytelling in ways I wouldn't have just as a creator of a fan, as a creator or a fan. I've actually had some of the people whose work I've reviewed make contact with me, either in the comments or via email. I made friends with guys like Landry Walker, who wrote my current favorite comic miniseries, Supergirl Cosmic Adventures in the 8th Grade. Pick it up, it's really good. A lot of, a lot of fun. I was brought into reviewers unknown because of my articles, not my videos, since I didn't make that many videos. I'd evaded people and I'd made connections that I wouldn't have if not for this site. Speaking of videos, I've covered conventions, sometimes with a press pass, and I better interview people as diverse list as Frank McLaughlin, Billy Tucci, Jim Cummings, Larry Kennedy, uh, Marina Surtees. I've examined stories in ways I couldn't in an article, and I hope to do more of those. I met famous creators, up-and-coming creators, some really cool people. BW offered me that opportunity. I've taken part in Arp Sound Off, which I wouldn't have done if not for BW, and that got me thinking about thinking about storytelling as well as helping me think about what I create. I probably still would have gone to conventions if not for the video content and or the website, but I wouldn't have experienced them the way that I do, and I think I've actually enjoyed them more because of what I've done with BW. But comics are my goal, and even there, BW has helped me. Working on Jake and Leon and Captain Yuletide, art-based articles that I really want to get back to, like Recovered and Reconstruction Zone, have all gotten me to make comics when I th thought all I have was a failed sprite comic. I've even been comfortable enough to 
showcase my otherwise terrible drawing on the internet. My work drawing has improved. I've worked to accept limitations and I've worked my art style around it so I can improve in ways that I feel more comfortable creating. Now from the friends I've made, the things I've done, BW Me Spotlight has given me amazing opportunities these past 10 years and served as a distraction from problems I've been dealing with at the same time. I hope to do more even if I find a job that tries to pull me away. I still have more plans in articles, comics, and videos as I examine the art of storytelling. And if you've joined me at some point, I hope I keep making stuff worth following. If you're only here because of art sound off, I hope you've considered still come up with something that you found interesting and maybe you'll check out more of my work. Maybe you won't, but if I did something, came up on it, came up, this one's not scripted. If I came up with something interesting, then at least I've done some kind of good service to the world. Next week, I'm going to go back to doing the usual art sound off kind of stuff. Um, but this was something I just wanted to do this week because this is t my 10th anniversary. And I wanted to do something special because this working on this project has meant more to me than I thought it would. And I just really enjoy doing it. I don't know if I'll be doing it the next 10 years, the next one. But um, I'd like to keep doing it because it's fun. It's offered me interesting opportunities, and I just like it. But if you want to want to see read more of my ramblings and maybe see some of the other video work I've done, you can check out bwspotlight.com. You can see all my comics over there too. If you want to see what the other people in the Art Sound Off channel are doing, use the hashtag Art Sound Off on Twitter. And if you like want to do your own. Check out artsoundoff.com. But we'll see you on Monday with more of the usual art sound off stuff. Thank you for uh, putting up with me as I celebrate my 10 years and hope you've enjoyed my work and I hope you hope to do more. We'll see you Monday and until then, I wish you all happy creating.